I am terrified of aliens, and I have my reasons. I don't know why. I don't know if I believe in aliens. Like, obviously, there's probably aliens somewhere in our universe, right? But I don't know if they're, like, little gray men that are, like, got these big bulgy heads or whatever. Um, but when I was in high school, I would get... Uh, there was a few events that made me just absolutely terrified of aliens. One is, when I was in high school, I would get um, sleep paralysis. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten sleep paralysis. It is the worst thing ever. It is terrifying. So when I would get sleep paralysis, I got it a lot in high school. Every time I would get sleep paralysis, I would... It was like this. Okay, so I would be laying in my bed. I'd be about to go to sleep to go to school night the next day. I'd be in my bed and my body would be frozen stiff. I couldn't move. And in the cor I could only move my eyes. And in the corner of my eye, I would just see the big gray aliens coming into my room. And then, like, I'm frozen so I can't move. And then they... I would see them come up and look at me. They would look me dead in the eyes in my sleep paralysis. And their eye terrified me. So their eyes were like the opposite of human eyes. So like... You know how it's black in the middle and then you have your pupil? Well, their pupil was in the middle and then the black was on the outside. And it was like adjusting to like see me, you know, like when your pupil adjusts, like their eye was adjusting and it was so detailed. It was so, it felt so real because it was my bedroom. Everything looked real. I was frozen. It was so terrifying. And the craziest part is all of a sudden, like, I like closed my eyes and then I woke up. I woke up in my room exactly where I was. I looked at the clock and I had only been asleep for like, I think it was 20 minutes. But that whole thing with aliens coming to my room, it felt like hours and I was so terrified. And then that happened to me like multiple times. I would have like this pretty, like the sim, this similar dream of aliens coming into my room and me being frozen from sleep paralysis. I had it probably like 10 times. It would terrify me every single time it happened. Yeah, and then I got traumatized by a movie called The Fourth Kind. And The Fourth Kind itself, I don't think it's a very scary movie. Oh my gosh, no, there was another movie that terrified me too. There was The Fourth Kind, and then there was... There's a movie that's based on a true story about this guy who got abducted in Arizona. Um... It's a really scary movie, but that one terrified me. But the fourth kind terrified me only because uh, they were talking about people who would get abducted by aliens would see owls a lot. And when I was a little kid living in uh, Fort Bragg in North Carolina, when my, my dad was in the army, my stepdad was in the army, so we lived in Fort Bragg on the military base, I would see owls all the time as a child. I remember I would be on the bus and we would be like going to school and I would look out the window and I'd just see this helpless little owl and I was like, oh, we got to stop the bus and go like help this little owl. Um, and then I watched the fourth kind and I was like so terrified because I was like, I've seen owls as a child. I get the sleep paralysis. I'm probably being abducted by aliens. <laughs> I was so scared. I don't get sleep paralysis with aliens anymore. I actually just don't get sleep paralysis anymore, which is, which is great. Definitely don't recommend that. Um, but hold on, I really want to find that movie. Oh, okay, the movie is called Fire in the Sky. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Fire in the Sky. If you are an alien fan, it's an incredible movie. It's based off of a true story. It's absolutely terrifying. So the Fire in the Sky came out in 1993. I watched it when I was really young and it always had scared me. There's also a movie called The Third Kind, which is pretty scary as well. But yeah, I am... I, it's weird because I don't necessarily believe in aliens, but I'm terrified of them. Aliens? Okay, even though it's a horror movie, Aliens is a horror movie, I'm not actually scared of aliens. Like, the the black creatures that spit out green acid. I'm not actually scared of those. I'm actually- I'm- I'm scared of the aliens that are like, uh, gray heads, you know? Like the gray-headed aliens. Um... Big, big, big heads gray body for some reason. Those guys. I don't know why I'm terrified of them. The 3D body problem is about aliens, but the aliens in that one doesn't scare me. Um, it's weird because also I, you know, I am also a fan of like 
Dragon Ball Z. Technically, Goku is an alien. He's a Saiyan. They doesn't... Human... More humanoid aliens don't scare me as much. Greys are the aliens that I'm actually scared of. And then I was like, you know what? I need to face my fears. I need to man up. I need to watch Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I tried watching it a second time. I cried. I turned off the movie. And then I had nightmares that night. <laughs> I, I tried to watch Fourth Kind again. I could not do it. I'm such a baby with alien movies. If it has greys in it, I cannot do it. There's a YouTube channel called uh, The Y Files. I really like The Y Files a lot, but I cannot watch it when he, like, he'll flash the greys sometimes on screen and I just am like, go oh, turning off this episode, can't watch it anymore. As soon as I see a grey, I'm turning it off. I can't. <laughs> I'm too scared. I'm such a baby about the gray aliens. Any aliens that are more in bug form or more... The less human a the less humanoid the alien is, the less scary it is. Wait, the less humanoid. Yes. So if it's like a bug, doesn't scare me. Those aliens don't scare me at all. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time is Starship Troopers. I love that movie. I grew up watching it and like... The brain sucker was like my favorite alien. <laughs> but as soon as they like look like the greys, it's like it's like an uncanny valley, I would say. So it's like if they're super buggy, they don't scare me. If they're super humanoid, like they look like humans, they don't scare me. But there's that middle point where they look like the greys or some kind of like within that gray, the gray alien looking area. And then I'm terrified. So it's like. If they look like humans, not scary. If they look like bugs, not scary. If they look like the gray aliens, I can't watch it. Like, I've I've sat down and was like, okay, what am I scared of? What's going on here? <laughs> I figured it out. I remember one time my friend was like trying to scare me. She put on a YouTube video of like aliens. And I wasn't expecting it. I was just minding my own business. All of a sudden the gray alien popped up on the YouTube video. And I went from like sitting like this and I jumped at her. Like, I was so scared. I, like, jumped. <laughs> I, like, tackled her. Because I was, like, trying to get away. So I was just, like, sitting. And then I went, poof. <laughs> I went to go hug her. Because um, I was scared. And then I accidentally, like, hugged her too quickly. And I didn't know that. But if you hug someone at a very high velocity, that's actually called tackling them. So, words of wisdom. 